So if all people are made in the image of God, and they are, right? If your neighbor is made in the image of God, and he is, if the people you go to school with and the people you work with are made in the image of God, and they are, if the person you are currently having conflict with is made in the image of God, and they are, then how should we relate to them? How should we treat them? Well, we should treat people rightly. Right? We, we should treat people in, in a way that recognizes their value as, as, as people. And so if we go back to, to the reference, James chapter 3, as James is talking about the tongue, James chapter 3, beginning with verse 7, it says, Every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by mankind, but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. Did you know your tongue was full of deadly poison? With it, we bless our Lord and Father, and with it, we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be so. We ought to bless God, but we ought not to curse people who are made in the likeness of God. Ephesians 4.29 says, let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. So God's given us this incredible capacity for speech. And in the world in which we live, I think we can apply this not just to our verbal communication, but we can apply this to all of our communication, social media communication, texting, emailing, however we communicate. How we talk about people and how we talk to people matters. And because people are made in the image and likeness of God, because people are valuable, because people have worth and dignity, we should not speak to people or speak about people as if they weren't valuable. As if they weren't created in the image of God. 